Hurry, travelers, and welcome to the Temple of Kung Fu. As always, I am your host, the Shaolin Kid, and tonight's tale is the 1979 Bruce Lee Hong Kong Kung Fu... Would you call it a classic? Classic, I guess, starring Bruce Lai. As you can see, the Iron Dragon Strikes Back. Um, Gold Ninja release. So yeah, we've made quite a few Gold Ninja reviews. Well, I just they the reason we make so many of these Gold Ninja videos is because they they have a lot of great public domain kung fu films, and we like them. You know, we like Gold Ninja. So I just feel like. They make the best releases of these public domain films that before you could only really get on VHS or like shitty versions on YouTube, like they said in the uh, in one of the special features. But I feel like I just I'm gonna get to the movie now. But like this movie was really enjoyable, even though the only problem I really had with it was the ending, which I'll get to. But the rest of it was really fun. Like the scenes, the plot. I'm not even gonna give it a plot synopsis in this movie because it. No, I have no idea, really. It's, like, super hard to comprehend because, like, the main characters, they find this... They, like, find a, bo a box of gold while they're going scuba diving. And they're, like... Two of these guys are, like, no, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't take it. Leave it in the water. Right? Because, like, they don't know who it belongs to. And they, like, he tosses it back in the water. One of the guys like, no, my gold, my gold. The other guy really wanted it. And then he said, okay, so he said after three days, if it's not there, if it's still there in three days, then they'll take it and split it. But after there, they, it, they, it's not there. But then it realizes like, <laughs> like 40 minutes later in the movie, it's like, oh, the, one of the guys stole it. And the thing about it is like, it's an enemy, like crime family in Hong Kong and they want the gold because that's what it was there for. That's who it was there for. But... They eventually forget about the gold because then they kill all the guys who knew about the gold. So they just completely forget about the gold and they're like, we just want to kill these guys now. And at the end of it, it's like the ending makes no sense. Like Bruce Lai dies and he's not even in the same outfit, so it confused me. It's like he was in the same outfit as the cop from earlier in the movie. So it was confusing and then... Like, then there's, you see this fat guy you saw earlier on in the movie who you only saw once, or like twice, and he's like, wow, how's the shipment going? And you're like, oh, the shipment's going great. Blah, 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 blah. And then it has a freeze frame ending on a fucking model boat. The lamest freeze frame ending in any kung fu movie. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I don't get it at all. The ending was super bad for the story that was, didn't even really need to be good. But I feel like the weakest part about this movie was the story. And usually I'm invested in the story, but this one I just wasn't that invested. Which is rare for a kung fu film with me. Because I usually am really invested in the stories, but this one just... Yeah. Maybe the story just didn't matter, but I feel like the ending... Like, it was trying to tie all the things together, which it couldn't really do. But I just also feel like there were some really great scenes. Like, the hotel scene was really great. Um, the ending fight scene was really great, where he fucking broke that dude's neck with his foot. And he, like, his head dangled, <laughs> of like, off the table. It was great. Um... But I feel like the story was definitely the weakest part, which is not usually the case for a kung fu film. I did like this movie. 
here's the thing. I liked it, but just the problem I had with it was the story. You know, I just, I couldn't get engaged in the story. I love the action. You know, I feel like this movie was just like, it was all about the action, which, you know, that makes sense. I like the action. The action was really the main reason to watch this movie. The other stuff doesn't really matter. If you want to, if you're watching this movie, just care about the action, because the action is the best part of this movie, and it's in a shit ton of the movie. Like, after, like, five minutes of talking, action. After, like, exposition, you immediately go into an action scene. And I just think it's really great. I really like the action. It's really well choreographed, really well, like, shot. And also, there was hand shot. The whole film was hand shot. And if you didn't know, they, when they were on the streets of Hong Kong, like, running around doing crazy shit in this movie, they did not have a permit to be doing this. So, they were just running around the streets of Hong Kong acting like absolute buffoons, and it was great. Um, and I just, I think it's really funny that, like, if you, these, like, all the people you saw on the sidewalk were just actual people. They weren't extras. They weren't hired to be on the movie. They were just there. They were just on Hong Kong that night, that day, while they were shooting. Um, and I think that's pretty funny. I just think it's funny they didn't have a permit to be recording when they were recording. But, um, yeah. The film, I don't have much to say about it, to be honest. To be honest, I feel like you should also just see it. You know, I really recommend this film. If you're a fan of kung fu films, if you're a fan of Bruce Bloitation, uh, I really, really like this film, and I bet you would too, uh, from a fellow kung fu fan, hopefully to another. But, um, yeah, I highly recommend this film, mainly for the action, but who doesn't want a kung fu film for the action? Come on. Oh, so, go get yourself a copy at goldninja.com before it goes out of print. Who knows? If you'll ever be able to find one after that. If you want to see this movie, go to Golden Ninja right now and get yourself a copy before they're gone. But, not a sponsored video, but, hey, Golden Ninja, hit me up. You know, I want, can I get some free stuff? I'm giving you free advertisement, guys. I think that's a little bit of leeway. I, free stuff, maybe? Yeah, maybe we could uh, arrange some things. But uh, anyway, um, I think I've said my piece. So guys, thanks for stopping by the Temple of Kung Fu. Really appreciate it. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you can be share with your friends. Subscribe, turn the notifications on. Comment down below on how much you liked it. And uh, you know, as always, we to be praised. Freeze for mending! Ha!